Hello children. This is the continuation of the chapter A Period of Transition. Today we will start from imperialism. Children, this is a new term for you. The word imperialism means a political system in which a rich and powerful country controls other countries which are not as rich and powerful as itself. Growth of imperialism. Industrial revolution led to a tremendous increase in the production of goods. Many European industrial nations now face two crucial problems. One was to acquire cheap raw material for the manufacture of their goods and the other was to find markets for their finished goods. Due to this reason, they began establishing their colonies in different parts of Asia, Africa and America. The continents of Asia and Africa were rich in natural resources but were militarily weak. The establishment of colonies helped European countries to sustain their industrial revolution. Causes for the rise of imperialism Surplus production Huge production could not be sold locally. Countries like England, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy and Germany tried to capture colonies for their finished surplus products. Need for raw materials it helped in this regard. Demands for huge amount of raw materials to feed new industries led to imperialism. Pressure of population. The European countries had small territories. The increasing population had to be provided basic facilities and new regions to settle down. This led to the establishment of colonies. Development of modern means of transport and communication. The invention of steamships, railways, telephone, telegraph and ports enabled man to conquer space and time. Distant lands could easily be conquered and served as the sources of raw materials. Impact of imperialism there are some negative as well as positive impact of imperialism. Imperialism led to the acquisition of colonies and colonial rivalries. It eventually led to the First World War and the Second World War. Imperialism led to the impoverishment of Asian and African countries. There were economically exploited. Their raw materials were sent to Europe and they became markets for the finished goods produced in Europe. On the positive side, imperialism led to the introduction of advanced systems and facilities in health, education and transportation. New roads were built, railways and telegraphs and postal systems were introduced in the colonies. Modern education and Western learning in science and technology and fine arts were spread to the colonies. So imperialism led to the development of infrastructure in the colonies. Now impact of imperialism on South Asia. Most Asian countries became European colonies. The Industrial Revolution had not reached this part of the world. So the political, economic and racial systems prevailing in South Asia were backward. However, imperialism brought about modernization. It led to the rise of nationalism in these Asian countries as a reaction against imperialism. People belonging to different sections came together and fought against the colonial power. Here with time, the English East India Company subjugated entire India. The Western powers established indirect imperialism in China. Sri Lanka was occupied by the Portuguese, the Dutch and finally by the British. Thus, 
Entire South and South East Asia was subjugated and came under the influence of imperialism. Children, with this we have completed the chapter. Thank you.